All right, you guys, as promised, I'm in my backyard now with my camera. As you can see, it's dark, very dark. A lot darker, that's my house, than my friend's house was. So this is without a, without infrared. Okay, you can't see shit. And this is what it looks like when you investigate places. It's cold as hell right now, and the wind is pretty bad. Because uh, I live a little bit closer to the country than my friend does. So this is infrared with just my camera. That's a night shot with my camera. You cannot see a fucking thing. Okay. This right here is the dead light, just like I showed you in the, in the last video. And this is the battery pack. You do have to buy the battery separately from Orbtronics.com. They're about 60 bucks. Well worth it. They're rechargeable. And this is how I operate it. For now, I'm going to get a stand for it. And you can put the stand right there. And do what you got to do. So, what I'm going to do is, just like I did in the last video, we're going to turn it on. And what's going to happen is just that center light's going to come on. And check this out. See that? Look, that, that's just one row. One row of dead light and your camera's IR light. Look at there. Now you can see. One row. Full strength. That's a cat. So, I'm going to go ahead and operate the second row. Little button right there on the side. That's for the top button. Puts the top the top row of lights on. So that's what I'm going to press now. So it's on. Okay, as you can see, it's on. Look at this. Look at that. This is outside of my backyard. That's two rows of infrared from the dead light, plus one or two little LED bulbs of infrared from your camera. Makes it like daylight, that's just two of them. And again, I live close to the countryside, so it's a little messy. Who cares? And I'm going to go ahead and press the third button for the third row of infrared light from the dead light, plus the infrared light from my camera. There you go. This is 100% power from the dead light as well as my camera's infrared. So here's the other thing that I like about this, is you can adjust the wattage, like I showed you in the last video. And how you adjust the wattage is you will get the side of the camera and turn this little button right here to adjust the wattage. It's a little hard to do when it's not on a stand. A little hard to do. So let's just do it this way. So you can adjust the wattage from high, I got it high level right now, or you can just completely turn it off, depending on the area that you're in again. There it goes, dim, dim, dim. Down to nothing, pretty much nothing but the infrared from the camera. Now if I turn that switch the opposite way, it makes it all come back on. If I can get it up there, again, it's a little hard with uh, just one hand, but you pretty much get the general idea of it. Let's see here. I did it better now. Okay, so this is just a camera infrared. Camera infrared, no dead light. Dead light using. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. My hand covered it. So, you get the idea. Now you can see everything.
and without it, you're blind as fuck. Appreciate it, Josh. I enjoy my light. I will use it religiously for the rest of my investigative days as a paranormal investigator. Let's turn this baby off. Go dark. No IR lights in my backyard, period. This is Dustin with the Dark Paranormal Society. Go investigate something. Explore the unknown. Definitely don't be afraid of the dark because like I will always say, the dark is where the good shit is. You will get some great evidence in the dark. Well, you want to see in the dark, go get yourself a deadlight. Happy hunting. Have a good night. I'm out.